Okay, Mayor, um, how do you intend to make yourself known and to appeal to uh, West Bank voters? Well, again, we've done a lot of good things over here in Kenner, and I want to make sure we get that message out to all of the voters. I'm going to be going all over this parish from the, you know, from where it starts at Lake Punch Train all the way to Grand Isle. They're going to know who I am. Hopefully, I'll be able to crush the flesh with as many people as I can, and I'm going to make sure all, all of Jefferson Parish knows that I'm going to be a proven leader for this parish, and I'm going to represent all the people in this parish. And what is your message going to be to them? How are you going to convince them that you're able to do that? Well, we've done quite a lot in Kenner with very little. You know, we've, we, we had to make tough cuts, we made tough cuts. When we had to cut $8.5 million out of the budget, we did that. And I know the parish is, is very good with, uh, with, with, with millages. We want to make sure those millages are spent wisely. In Kenner, we had no millages. We depend more on sales taxes. The parish is more dependent on, on, on millages over the sales taxes. So we want to make sure we get sales taxes up, make sure everybody has an equal opportunity to, uh, to, to be represented, and to make sure that Jefferson Parish is very strong on both East and the West Bank. What's the difference between you and Alton Lagasse? Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a visionary. I'm not somebody that's going to definitely just hold a boat together. I'm going to keep it moving forward. I'm going to make sure we move it into the next decade that's not too far away from us. I'm going to make sure that Jefferson Parish is where everybody wants to be. It's going to be one of the finest, best parishes in the state of Louisiana. We've made Kenner one of the finest cities in the state of Louisiana, and I certainly want to keep, I want to keep that momentum going and do what we've got to do in Jefferson Parish. And I think my youth, energy, no-nonsense, and integrity will speak for itself. You, talk, you talked about strengthening JEDCO. How are you going to do that? Well, I'm going to work with those JEDCO business leaders to find out what they need, what they want to do, if they need any need expansions, so that we can make sure we can branch out to those companies that are looking to be in this area. They talk all the time about wanting to come to this area. We need to start reaching out more to those companies. I think JEDCO does a good job. I believe we could all work together and do a better job. How can they be better? What do, you, what do they need to do oh, to be better? I, I think we've got to reach out more to a lot of these businesses and corporations that may be overlooking us, sometimes bypassing us, bypassing this whole region. Regionally, we've, we, I, and I've worked together with the Mayor of New Orleans, the President of Jefferson Parish, the President of St. Charles, and other parish presidents, even the President of St. Tammany, to make sure we, we get the very best for this region, and we want to make sure we attract them to this region. Tell me the thinking behind uh, this campaign strategy, this analysis strategy where you're blanketing with, with television commercials and now you have this big event. Um, what, what's the thinking behind that? Well, you know, I'm, I'm a young, energetic leader, as I've said, and I could have easily just turned to social media, but I didn't want to turn to social media. I wanted to make sure all the people knew, as I said, simultaneously, that I am a candidate for parish president, and I wanted all those people to hear it at the same time, so that's why I did the commercials up front, to make sure they know myself and my family are ready to tackle the issues of Jefferson Parish. What is the largest issue in Jefferson Parish right now? Well, you know, I'm sure the hospital issue is, is a big issue that will hopefully be solved soon, but what I want to focus on is the issues I've been hearing just from general constituents on streets, drainage, those types of things, traffic issues, the everyday ordinary problems that, that plague all cities and all parishes and try to improve those as fast as we can, as best we can with the, with the money we have. You talked about overhauling the uh, code department. Uh, I, I did it in Kenner. I okay. did it in Kenner. I overhauled the code department in Kenner. We revamped the entire department. We changed the way it worked. We put all the people together that needed to be together and that's what I'm here hearing from business leaders in Jefferson Parish that code has issues. Code needs to work better. They're running people away. I've had business leaders tell me, other businesses have said they're not going back to Jefferson's code department. I've had other ones tell me it's a pleasure to do business in Kenner. And with the right leadership, we can make sure it's a pleasure to do business in Jefferson Parish. So what exactly needs to happen? I mean, you're talking about reorganizing, bringing in new well, people? Like whatever, whatever that may be. I mean, we're going to look at it, study what the problems are. I've already talked to business leaders already. So we're going to make sure we go in, maybe with some new leadership, maybe changing, you know, changing some of the processes. There may be ordinance changes that might be required, and that's going to take working with the council to make sure that happens. You also talked about um, introducing a couple of new boards uh, focused on government ethics and uh, maybe an investigative board. Um, you know, there's already an IG, there's already uh, an internal auditor. These are new positions that were created. Um, how do you avoid being redundant, or are these replacing those, or what, uh, what's no, your vision there? No, no replacements. Okay. I want to work better with those agencies and, those, and those, those people to make sure we bring everybody together, make sure that my administration's working with the IG, my administration's working with all functions of government so we keep everything above board and transparent for everyone. But what, why the need for the new boards though? Well, I want, I, want, I want to make sure we look at all the issues. I, you know, again, it's, it's a large
large parish, there's a lot of things that happen. I want to make sure we cover all those issues and make sure that nothing falls behind the cracks, whether it's a department head all the way down to a laborer, typist, clerk, administrative assistant. I want to make sure everybody's following the, those guidelines. Okay, and why do you want to be the parish president? Well, I wanted to be mayor of Kenner to, ch to change the home I live in to make it a better place. Kenner just so happens to be in Jefferson Parish, and we've done some remarkable things in Kenner. We're trying to make Kenner that destination, and I believe that Jefferson Parish, with all the cities coming together, all the unincorporated areas, can be a great destination for the parish. It can be a, you know something much better than just a suburb to, uh, to the city of New Orleans. We can work together regionally, and I believe I'm the, I'm the leader to bring all that together. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it.